All right, I would like to go over principal agent models because they're really fun and they're actually fairly easy to recognize in terms of how you model them. And once you see this pattern, you'll start to recognize it in all kinds of scenarios and it will really enable you to model many different situations. So here we have a manager who is choosing what percentage should the salesperson get in commission. And of course, this is the principle, choice variables, commission. What are they maximizing? Well, they're maximizing company profit, which is sales, as a function of the effort that the salesperson puts in, as a function of commission. And of course, what percentage of the sales does the manager or the company get to retain? It's one minus S, that's the percentage of the sales that they keep. That's their profit maximization model. Down here we have a salesperson who is choosing how much effort to put into their job where they know that the effort leads to higher sales and they get to keep a certain percentage of those sales. So their benefit is the money they get, their cost is their effort, money minus effort. Now the key pattern here is that the choice variable for the principal is going to be exogenous in the agent's model. And then the choice variable for the agent is going to be endogenous in the principal's model. So the basic setup here is that the principal cares about some behavior that the agent is doing, whether that's putting in effort or um, being really careful or whatever. The principal cares in their objective function about the agent's behavior, that effort, and their choice variable is something that um, is going to influence the agent through the agent's optimization problem. So what we find is when we solve the agent's model, the optimal choice, E star, that optimal amount of effort for them to put in, is always a function of all of the exogenous variables in the model, which in this case is just their commission percent. And this solution to the agent's model, this thing, that appears up here in the way, um, in the manager's objective function, E star C is the solution to this model. That exact function appears up here. And this is why the choice variable for the agent appears as an endogenous variable in the principal's problem. So let me just show you two more examples. The second principal agent situation I would like to look at is a safety inspector for a factory that makes kids toys where if you test the toys, you can find which ones are unsafe, which ones um, should not be sold to kids. But of course, it's expensive to test the toys, so they can only sample a certain number of uh, toys to test in this way. And the idea is that the safety inspector wants to influence the worker's behavior, such that the worker follows certain protocols that will lead to safe products typical situation. And what we have here is that the safety inspector is trying to figure out how many products do you need to test in order to optimize safety minus uh, the total spending you're doing on these tests. I mean, it's a classic cost benefit where safety is a function of the protocol adherence of the worker, which is a function of how often you test these products. And the costs are simply the cost per test times the number of tests. And then we have our worker who is deciding how much do you adhere to protocol? How sloppy are you with your job? Because that's very effortful. Oops, and I need a, a negative sign in front of this. So I added that negative sign, but this is still the benefit. So the benefit of um, increasing your protocol safety is because it decreases the probability that you will get a ding from the inspector for having a product that is not safe. And of course, what's the disutility from that ding? Well, that depends on what are the consequences of the safety inspectors um, finding something wrong with your products. So this is the worker uh, trying to reduce their probability of getting a ding from the inspector, and the cost of adhering to the protocol is simply an effort cost, where effort is a function of that protocol. And you can see that this actually matches the same traits, where we have the choice variable for the principal is exogenous in the agent's model. And then the choice variable for the agent is endogenous in the principal's model. Meaning that this protocol adherence 
is the solution to the agent's problem. The so solution here is the agent decides what is your optimal amount of protocol adherence as a function of the frequency of getting your products tested where you could be discovered if those products don't turn out well. And this appears in this function up here exactly as it is. As a matter of fact, this function is derived from the agent's optimization problem. So once again, let's label this. So choice variable in the agent's problem, endogenous up here, choice variable in the principal's problem, exogenous down here. Let's do one more example. Here we have a tournament, and of course the decision maker here is like the manager of the tournament or whoever is putting it on. They have to decide how big should the prize be, so prize is P, and they're trying to optimize something. I'm going to say this is attention to the tournament's cause, oftentimes tournaments are for not-for-profit causes, or sometimes the tournaments are for um, investing in a product that you're putting together that will have value to others, but we're just going to say attention is what they're trying to optimize minus the money they spend on the prize, where attention depends on the total time that people um, entering the tournament invest in whatever it is they're doing. And you might think of Pinewood Derby, um, where they're, they're investing time to develop a car, or you might think of time invested in getting good at a new sport that's kind of creative, whatever it is. Total time investment of everyone who's participating, and that's a function of the prize money. So let me define T. So we come down here and we have the participant is deciding how much time should they personally invest. And so I would like to define this T up here. This T up here is the sum of everybody's time investment, the total time investment of all the participants. Where the participant's maximization problem is down here, we have the participant trying to optimize their probability of winning as a function of their time investment times the prize money if they win, minus the opportunity cost of the time they invest as a function of T. So let's check if it has the same pattern that I've described, where the choice variable for the principal appears in the agent's optimization problem as an exogenous variable, and the choice variable for the agent is going to appear in the principal's model as an endogenous variable. It's endogenous up here, um, and so, we basically have this pattern appearing over and over in principal agent models. It's how you connect these models. It's actually how you derive equations in the principal's optimization problem from the agent's optimization problem. So it's a super powerful tool, it's fun to use, and it's a very simple pattern once you learn to recognize it.